I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to show overages and shortages on a graph. Showing overages and shortages on a graph is essentially like putting two graphs on top of one another, one for expected output and one for actual output. Let's suppose that we're told to graph a company's financial history over the past five years, and this line right here represents their expected output. And in 2009, they exceeded their expectations a little bit and put out $500,000 for an overage of $100,000. And in 2010, they blew the roof off and actually put out $900,000, which has an overage of $300,000. But in 2011, things went a little south for the company and they only put out $500,000 when they were expecting $700,000. So we're going to have a shortage there. And in 2012, things got a little better and they put out 700 when they were expecting 600. But in 2013, things got really bad and the company only put out $300,000. So now we want to actually show the overages and the shortages. And we're going to use different colored markers for that. Um, I'm going to use blue for the overages. Uh, it looks like we had an overage in 2009 of $100,000. So I'm going to color in the bar just like that to show that things were good for the company this year and they were good by a total of $100,000. In 2010, when we had our big year, they were up by $300,000. So again, I'm going to shade in $300,000 of this top part of the graph in blue. Just like that. And then I had one more overage, which was in 2012. We were expecting 500,000 and we put out 700,000. So that is an overage of $200,000. So I'm gonna show that right here in blue just by shading it in. And now for the shortages, I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to use orange. And it looks like we had a shortage in 2011 and we were expecting 700,000 and we only made 500,000. So that's a shortage of $200,000. So I'm going to show that just by filling in the void in orange the void being the difference between the expected output and the actual output. And I also had another shortage in 2013 when I was expecting 600,000 and only made 300,000. So that's a big shortage right there of $300,000. So I'm simply gonna show that by shading in the difference in orange. And there we have our graph. And you can see it's pretty easy to tell the overages and the shortages. Again, overages are going to be in blue. So we can get a quick look at the graph and see exactly how well the company did versus how well they were expecting to do. And then we have the shortages in orange. I'm Drew Moyer, and that is how to show overages and shortages on a graph.